I woke up a few minutes ago from one of the most bizarre dreams I have had in a long time. I usually have lucid dreams. What that means is I have the ability most of the time, if I have a bad dream, to go in my mind knows, hey, this is a dream, and I can change up the setting and, you know, nip it in the bud. I'll build a force field, I'll float, levitate, throw fireballs, whatever it takes, you know, to eliminate the threat, whatever the perceived threat is in the dream that really just boils down to one of my insecurities or one of my, one of the things that I worry about. But this was a really weird dream, and I don't know how long it's going to take, so stick, a lot, stick around as long as you want. And if you don't want to finish it, that's cool, too. I was an actress in this movie, even though I was me. I looked like me. I knew I was an actress because Kevin Costner was in the dream, too. And he was supposed to be with me. This was a movie where I was going to be protecting this little girl. It was my job to get her from point A to point B. Kevin Costner was supposed to be helping me. We're getting ready to go up this hill, which is actually the hill that I live on, and I'm supposed to get her to the safe point. And we are surrounded, there's already gunfire everywhere, and somehow I managed to get almost to the top, and I thought that it was Kevin Costner that screamed, wait a second, but when I stopped for just a second, this person that I made up, that I've never seen before, just came up. They were in camo and everything. Um, the only reason I know it was a black guy is because he told me afterward when he was explaining, hey, remember, this is just a movie. He came up and he went to stab her and he didn't actually stab her. But he did manage to cut her throat, and I, just a little bit, and I grabbed and I put my hand on it, and I grabbed her hand. She was maybe 10, 10 or 12 in the stream, and I told her to put pressure on it till I could get her up there to the safe spot. And I grabbed what I thought was, you know, real. This It, it was kind of, it started out, I knew it was a dream, and I knew it was a, a, a movie. But when that little girl got hurt, I went to stab him, and I was trying to stab him to death. And at that point, he told me who he was and showed me his name on the roster. And he said, I don't usually tell anyone my name, but here's who I am. And he worked for the power company is what was strange. Now, the dream kind of fast-forwarded after that. I saw everybody shaking Kevin Costner's hand, but yet I've still got this child to my house now, which is um, a hospital in the dream. That makes sense based on what, you know, another um, YouTuber has told me about the history of this house it being on old battleground. Anyway... It kind of skips forward there, and the girl is older, and she's telling me that she has to go. And she's like, she's not, she's still a teenager, a young teenager, maybe 15, 20, not even 15, 17, something like that, and I know she's dying. And she's telling me I'm going to be okay. And then I had a cup, and I... It's so strange. I had a miniature of her in this cup, and I was keeping her alive with something cold. I don't know if it was ice or ice cream or what it was, but it had slowed down the bleeding from whatever happened, you know, on that battle site that was a freaking movie. Anyway, um, she went away. She didn't, I know she was dying, but there was no obvious death. There was no funeral. She was just gone. And then all of a sudden I lived out in the country. 
and I was griping about it. And somebody was telling me, oh, only cool people live in the country because it takes a long time to get to their house. You know, they're going to have a good party. And I'm like, well, you know, thank you for trying to placate me, but I still hate this living out in the country crap. And I realized it was a house I lived at when I was six, and I did hate living there. And then the, a storm came, the power went out, and that's how I found out that this guy worked for the power company. He was one of the guys that showed up to fix the power at my house. Now... I'm going to have to re-watch this because I know I'm creeping up. I'm, this is going to be over six minutes. I'm going to have to look at it again so I can piece together who everybody was, what they represented, and what this really means. But I'm here to tell you, I woke up on full alert, ready to stab. I was still protecting, I don't know, maybe my inner child. Maybe somebody knew I look on like a child. You know who you are, my child. I have about three children that aren't my children, but that's okay. They're still in my heart like my children. Two of them are, two of them are relatives. Anyway, uh, yeah, weird post. What do y'all think? I'm not cracking up. I've been cracked up. I'll talk to you soon. I got a YouTube challenge to do. Oh, yeah, and then I'm going to tag some people. Until then, if you hung in here, <laughs> thumbs up or thumbs down for me taking so damn long. Smooches and deuces, you beautiful peeps. I love you.